Gyrus is today's board of choice for working on. First things first, let's turn it off. And I have got to eliminate that attract sound, which I'm not exactly sure. I think it's this one right here. That that first one, I think that's attract sound. Turn that off. And let's fire this thing back up. And we should now have no attract sound, I would think. I don't want to be listening to that constantly. Yeah. There we go. We have a sprite failure. Sprites are generated by the Konami One CPU and its ROM, RAM. And the sprite RAM, this is like the, I think this is the Konami One's working program RAM right here. And then the sprite RAM itself are these four 2114s right here. And associated circuitry. So the first thing we can do is get the probe, the uh, scope, and just look at the um, activation signals and just kind of probe around and look at some signals. Make sure that stuff is going on. I'd say that the RAM or the ROM is being accessed because I see stuff that looks like stuff. It's not just blocks. So I'd say this is working. I would bet that the problem is with these RAM. That would be my first guess. All right, well, the plot, as they say, has thickened. I replaced all of the 2114s just as a shot because they're usually the sprite issue. And we still have sprite issues, same thing. So, I have the original four RAMs right here. I'll put those back in the board. But I have found the bad chip. I was probing around this section, and I saw this signal right here. This is the enable to a 139 right here. And that is not a good signal. So I just said, okay, I'm just going to probe around until I find that on an output. And this right here, zero, 00, is the bad chip. As you can see, I have it marked. That chip is bad. We'll look at the inputs. There's an input, an input. The output should just look like that. And that's the output right there. This chip doesn't drive high. Input, input, output. And that's our signal right there. In, in, out. Input, input, output yeah so for whatever reason it just won't drive high so we'll replace that guy and should be good to go I would think it's the only thing I can find that doesn't look good on this board okay I got that zero zero replaced I put standoffs on this because this board set was sent to me these boards were just laying on top of each other with no kind of protection between them at all. No standoffs, no bubble wrap between the boards or anything. So, yeah. Look at that.
bad zero zero and gyrus is back in action and i know that both of the sound channels work um, we need to play it though and just just to verify make sure that all of the sounds are present so we'll do that next right we're ready let's give it a shot see what happens free play so let's just go ahead and hit the start button and see what happens here loud so far so good Double-fisted. Successful play test. So we'll turn the lights on. So with this one we had sprite failure. Failure of sprite. And it turned out to be that zero zero. I replaced I removed, I desoldered and removed the four uh two one one four RAM that are the sprite ram and that was not my problem so i just went ahead and probed around and found that bad signal and then and then probed around until i found what was outputting that bad signal and it was that zero zero so that is the culprit and we have another successful repair 
So I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel. I want to um, I appreciate every one of you. Yeah, I'm so, sorry if I'm stuffed up right now. This springtime allergies really get to me anymore, and uh, I'm all stuffed up and just don't feel good, to be honest. So, But thanks to everyone who supports the channel and watches. Thanks to everyone over on Patreon that uh, helps me in curating all of these old boards and keeping them going that kind of a thing i appreciate every one of you every one of the channel members as always thanks for watching and we'll see you all on the next classic arcade repair nice short one nice short gyrus repair this time we'll see you all on the next one bye for now Thank <laughs> you.